All right. Um, now, about the point of survival of the fittest, I know most atheists or secularists don't ascribe to that worldview. They have morals and ethics. But the point I'm trying to get to, if you want to really argue about a purely naturalistic, materialistic worldview, then the only option is to be left with that option. But even secularists move away from it. And that's my point, that they're inconsistent. And it's a good thing that they're inconsistent, because you can't truly follow on a purely naturalistic worldview, or you're left with the problems I mentioned. Now, as for the last point, Mao and Stalin didn't do it in the name of atheism. All right, no problem. But what's to say that those backward societies in the South, in America, the societies that are more religious than the ones in the North, what's to say that the reason why they're backwards, the reason why they have more problems, is because of their religion, is because they're somehow backwards in the name of religion. See, my point is you can't simply make that correlation. Now, as for Sam Harris, the, the definition he gives is that the worst world possible where people are suffering a lot and moving away from that is basically how you would define morality. Again, that's subjective. We have history where we have the opposite. You look at communist states. That was the worst world possible for some of the people living there. Yet the communists persisted in it. Um, you look at Nazi Germany. The, the situation of the ghettos for the Jewish population, that was the worst world possible. And the Nazis didn't move away from it. They wanted to increase it. So obviously, they didn't believe in that worldview. And I personally feel that uh, Sam Harris is the last person to talk about morality. I mean, Sam Harris is a person who advocates the use of nuclear weapons. <coughs> of course, in a defensive manner and a last resort and a preemptive attack against someone else and which is quite ironic because most people who justify oppression and genocide often give the same excuses so I think he he's the last person to talk about the worst world possible when he talks about using nuclear weapons that can literally kill millions of people and he advocates the use of nuclear weapons in the Muslim world which will as I said kill millions of people so once again you see the subjective worldview this guy wants to talk about morality and ethics yet he is advocating the use of uh, nuclear weapons now as for the difference between religion and science you know in science you can prove yourself or you want to prove what's right and if you're wrong you'll accept it you know you're trying to prove your theories and in religion you can never accept that you're wrong well, that's false, because we have converts. I mean, the moderator used to be a Christian. So he obviously accepted that there was something wrong in his religion, and he changed. You know, converts are a proof that that's wrong, that they see something wrong in their religion, and they leave their religion. So there's, theists are not simply closed-minded people who refuse the evidence. Theists examine the evidence, they look at the evidence, and they're convinced of it. They don't just say, okay, that's it, and I believe it. Maybe some do, but those are in a minority, and when you talk to those people, they don't even know what they believe in. So they can be used as an example. And I think those were basically most of the points. So.